Do not buy this shit, bro. If you guys watch my Santa Stu video, I was amazingly disappointed with how they released this shit. Holy, it's not as trash as a fucking Clash Royale. I will say that. But it is pretty fucking dog shit. We have to be honest. We have to be honest. 49, 149 gems for this skin? It's decent. It's not cool. There's definitely better skins for Poco. This one's not the best one. The player icon and the, the pin is whatever it's not the best shit it's not worth 149 gems but if you add the 200 gold and the trash rare star drop i guess i could kind of see it if you consider 198 gems for the 2000 gold the trash double xp thing and the rare star drop i could kind of see it too for 200 gems ish i could kind of see that if you add a another 99 gems it's around 300 gems in total you get the 5000 gold which cool i i like gold i love gold that really is the best part about this 550 power points that's a lot of power points and the legendary star drop for 300 gems i see the value i can kind of see it but fuck no you're not gonna get me with this scam ass trash ass lame ass fucking offer you call value this is not value the gold i can see the value i can see the value in gold i can even see the value in the power points i cannot see the value in the star drops not even the legendary star drop what if you get credits now if you're not a maxed out player i get it right you know if you you need some credits to get a new brawler i get it but what if you get credits what if you get xp doublers what if you get a trash skin you don't fucking like what if you get a fucking pin even though i don't fucking use a pin i don't use oh my god calm down calm down I mean uh, there's so many flaws with this the star drops are trash and I'm, I'm gonna make a video why i don't fucking like star drops and here's another thing mega pig let's talk about mega pig i was gonna make a video on mega pig but you know there's not really much there's not much to talk about when it comes to mega pig apparently mega pig is gonna be a monthly thing a monthly thing it's not gonna be once every two weeks which i thought was gonna be and i was like okay that's fair whatever right but no no it's a monthly thing now granted i would have appreciated if it was a monthly thing if it was is good rewards you know just like clash a uh, clash of clans uh cl even clash royale has good rewards but thing with clash royale is they're they're clan wars it's pretty boring it's trash it's not interesting that's why nobody really plays it with this it the game modes are at least interesting but the rewards are not fulfilling it's not enjoyable i can get more rewards off a of mega box than a fucking mega pig that's how crazy and it sounds crazy that i'm saying that right you're probably like mario you can actually get skins and pins and bling in, in the mega pig you can't get that in the fucking mega box in the fucking mega box you can get more fucking gold than you can in the fucking mega pig and granted the mega pig you can get in between 2000 gold and like you can get around 700 gold and 2000 gold if you get a max five out of five mega pig and that's if you get a five out of five mega pig if you don't then you fucking get like a four out of five a three out of five Gr fuck it you can even get a one out of five mega pig it's barely full right it it's barely even there's barely any loot in the mega pig and you you get dog shit you get 98 gold 13 power points like that shit's mad booty cheek but if you get a max mega pig the mega pig is filled to the brim and you still get trash hot take i think the the omega star box right i think that was called the box where you got the daryl skin the omega box gives better rewards than the fucking mega pig hot take hot take maybe but at least that thing gave you a lot of gold uh, granted there's sometimes the mega pig can give you up to 3,000 gold but it's pretty rare right you can get up to 3,000 gold but at least with the omega box you were guaranteed 2,000 gold with the mega box you were guaranteed if you were maxed out a thousand gold 500 gold in between there you get a lot for one mega box you do not get a lot for a fucking mega pig that you have to fucking wait one entire fucking month i don't get it bro i don't get it i personally don't like it if you guys I would like enjoy fucking mega pig that's totally Totally fine. I like Mega Pig, but you have to realize you can only play Mega Pig once every fucking month. I have to wait one month to play Mega Pig. And when I play Mega Pig, I don't even play. That's another thing. That's another thing. When you play Mega Pig, you're required to play with randoms because it's better to play low trophies, better to play with randoms. You you have more chances of winning, right? If you play with teams, you you have to play with the whoever has the most trophies, and then you get to have to you have to play with other people who are maxed out brawlers and more competitive 
give him more skill. Like, Mega Pig requires you to play by yourself. They don't force you, they really like neglect you playing with your clubmates, which I like. I personally like. I like playing by myself. But as a club, from a mindset of being interactive with your clubmates, I think that's pretty doo doo dog shit, right? In my personal opinion. That's just my opinion. But let me know how you feel about the CCTV Poco skin. That shit is mad dog shit. That is booty cheeks, man. I'm sorry, bro. I can't appreciate that. I don't, I never recommend anybody buying that shit. It's pretty dog shit. The gold is cool, but for all of it, for the bundle in total, it's not worth it, dog. I'm gonna be honest. If the gold was separate, I would, I would definitely be like, oh yeah, this is definitely worth it. But it's not. It's combined with this trash skin. The, some star drops that might be legendary, might be fucking rare. It's a 50-50, right? The XP doubler, trash. The fucking 200 gold, trash. Like, you know, my personal opinion, but let me know how you feel in the comments.